Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got us an Underwood Noiseless here. Nice glossy black machine that uh, has got a broken draw band. So here's part of it right there. It's kind of mangled and stiff. And then the other part is, it was tangled, tangled around the draw band or the mainspring here. I've got it out finally. That took a more than a few minutes to get the uh, get the broken section untangled so it's still attached here and this is kind of a tricky one right there it is because there's no way to really attach the uh, attach it into the hole into the mainspring up here without taking the mainspring off and feeding it through there. So I guess that's what we're going to try to do today. This side mounts up pretty easy right here with the screw. It goes through this little mount. You can tie a knot on it. That's, that's pretty easy. It's this side is it. It's going to be trouble, but let's try it. So I want to loosen the screw and this draw band should, or mainspring should come right off there. Okay, now there's some pieces in here, I know it. Let's see. I'll get all the pieces out together. Okay, so it's got a gear. Let's mark that. I don't want to... I know one time I flipped this gear upside down and I just couldn't figure it out, so... Top. I get the top. There's also a very important washer in here somewhere. Okay. I don't want to lose it. There it is right there. This little guy right here. Ultra critical. Right there. That is an ultra critical washer that fits into this little section right there. And if it's not in there, this won't work. It's pretty critical. Okay, so we can take this screw out, but you'll see how this is attached through a hole. There's no real way to get a nut. You have to take this top plate off and then uh, attach it from the inside to the outside. That's been a couple months since I did one of these, but I think this pry's off pretty easy. I'm just going to grip it with something. See if I can get a pry point on here. centerpiece in place here so you'll see it it comes out and it's got a little gizmo on it that grabs the mainspring and I think the mainspring looks good so the trick is to get this out and a new a new knot in there so let's put something in here to wedge the because uh, it's got a small gap right there. I want to make sure that gap stays. This spring compresses on it. Let's put it on this side of the knot right there. So that puts a little gap. A little gap there and this should come right on out. There we go. Just like that. So, Alright, let me detach it from, from up here. Let me, uh, carriage. We can get the length of this exactly right because we got both pieces. We don't have to do any guesswork or measuring. A 
Okay, so there's just a little knot on this side, sort of it compresses onto that side. So I already pulled out a couple drawbands. I think I'm going to use my hemp cord here. I was going to use this stuff, but it's a little too thin. And then this is probably a little too thick. But I think it'll be alright. It, it kind of, when it stretches it, it thins out a little bit, it seems like. So I'm going to tie a knot on this side and see if we can uh, get that in place. Inside the mainspring to start with. Alright, let's cut that off here. Okay, so if we can get this, uh, well, let's measure this out first. So we got, just measure this out to there. That's the other piece here. Keep on going. So we want our knot right about, we give it an extra inch right there. That's where we're going to put the, uh, the carriage knot. Carriage cider, because it really doesn't matter. Okay, so first thing we got to do is try to get this back into this uh, slot here. It's a slightly bigger knot, but I think there's enough room to squeeze that in there. glasses on, jeez, see this small stuff, oh, it looks like it's, okay, there it goes, it's in there, so I'm going to pull the screwdriver out, and that's good, so I'll put the cap back on, let's center this up. Okay, I think it's on there all the way. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so now the trickier part is putting this back into place. So we just got to line the screw up with that hole right there blindly. There's no way to see that. So remember this piece has a that little tiny special washer that goes Oops. Camera's getting in the way. Okay. That goes right into there. And this gear goes on with the T on the outside, so now we have to try to get that back into this screw hole with this little lever thing flopping around. It's got to be just right, too. It's got to be around this gear pack, or this uh, star gear here. So, we're not going to try to tighten it or anything. We're just going to try to get it back in there. without losing all the pieces. So, right about there. Let's see how close I am. Okay. 
feel it. That's it right there. So it started. Now you need to get this. Uh, <clears throat> this piece in place right here. Like right there. Oops. Parts of my bench here. doesn't feel right. It's a little, a little floppy. Take a look here. Let's see what it looks like on the side again. That seems awfully loose. I think this is right. Alright, maybe it is. It's not cross threaded or anything, so I'm going to bottom it out right there, so maybe that's it. Okay. Well, let's see what I want to do next. It's not, not the easiest thing to do. Let's see. Okay, let's wind this sucker up a little bit. So, so it winds, tightens this direction here. So when it takes up, pulls it so I'm just gonna pre-wind this like this and give it about five or six winds that's probably probably plenty. there and put something in here to uh, wedge this. There's a, there's a spot right there. I can stick my uh, tool in here maybe. Nope. Doesn't want to go into that slot. Okay, well, let's just uh, keep it under pressure and bring it up through where it goes right here. I definitely could use three hands now. Okay, so that's up through there. And there's a secondary pull it down here. We're trying to get it around. And it's around it, so so there's there's it working from the uh, pulling it from the side. Okay. 
Good enough, so let's flip this down. So I've got it pulling right here. All I've got to do is get it attached to the other side somehow. I like to get this thing somehow uh, wedged wedged here. Let me try this spot right here. There it doesn't look like it's going to work. Try to Okay, so I'll just go to Old Faithful here and uh, put a pair of hemostats on this thing, just like this. So now I can let go of this right here. need to feed this through which I'm going to use my uh, extender it's right here this retractable draw band puller and let's spin it around here up a little. Run this through where I need to, which is right back here. Just like that. Should show up over there. So there it is right there. And now I just gotta connect the knot to it right here. Let's see if I can get this to grab right here. Okay. Pull it on through. Nope. It's not gonna grab this uh Tie a secondary, secondary loop in here. Like this so I can grab it with the uh, the hook. So let's try this again. There, it's not, not long enough. I wonder if there was a section missing out of this and I mismeasured it. It's quite possible. I hope that is not the case. string 
disconnect my stopper and pull this. Oh no. Oh no, it's too short. Well, crudola. Oh, that's. <laughs> it's too short. I made a mistake. So much for assuming. Alright. I definitely made a mistake a little here. This is too short. Almost look too short. Let's take it back off again. short let's see if I measured it well I bet there was just a piece missing out of this out of the old one okay there's the other section here yeah I bet you there was there's a piece missing out of this Let's do it the way I normally do it. Which is tie knot. Tight. So we know that's got to come around here to the band, and we're just going to measure this out. Just like this. So it should be that long. Quite a bit of difference between these two. Okay, so there was definitely a section missing out of that one. Oh well. You should never assume. You should go with the way I always do it. Yeah, it's not always the way I do it. I definitely use draw bands for lengths sometimes, but... Okay, so now that's what we want. Let's pop this open again. Let's see if it'll come open now. Easier. I had it open. Always goes faster the second time, though. Got all my tools out here somewhere. Of course, now I don't see my screwdriver I was using. There it is. Put one in place. Place, little washer in place. And top. Keep for top. So let me get this back in here. A little quicker this time. That was a bad 
mistake. in place here. There she goes. Just like that. Four. Okay. I'm going to feed it up through. Just through here. like that okay we should have action here we do <clears throat> should have action up here this ah! why So, strike three. Strike three, no, that's strike two. Strike three is, hopefully it doesn't happen. Just off here with the uh, human stats. Like that. And we're going to run the uh, little guy through here. Should pop out on the side. 
way through here but it's oh, I'm getting a little frustrated to say the least. Okay, let's try this again. I don't see it coming through. Didn't make it. Fell off halfway. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is really um, getting a little frustrating now. Let's try it again. All I can do is try it again. Pull this and take the uh, hemostat off here. Because I need a little more length. There's not there. So now I can take this. I really didn't want two knots here, but let's just stick this under the uh, stick this under this little piece like that. to release tension on this uh, I'm going to 
pull up the slack here. I'm gonna release the tension. We should have it. Okay, she's on and she's winding properly down here. I don't like that noise, but that's a secondary issue it looks like. Okay, so we should have action here. Let's try it. carriage release over here on the side is not pulling far enough. So this one grinds, but this one is okay. There's a little, little bump in the... Oh, that's probably a... Uh, I thought it was going to be one of these guides, but there's something. I feel a little something. Oh, it's carriage lock here. It's, Lightly touching here. So, here the lock assembly is out of adjustment slightly. Okay, draw band done, only 37 minutes long in that video. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Make sure this is tight. I think we got it tight, so just right, yeah. All right, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.